when they first paroled me, they gave me no pain medication. They said that DOC, unless, it's, unless you're terminal and are going to die soon, they don't care how much pain you're in, they're taking everybody off of pain medication, so they just cut me off. And they sent me out the door with nothing. When I went into his room and found him in the fetal position, out of his mind and sweating, I had to bring him to the ER. I really believe that nobody wants to come to the emergency department four times a month. That's an indication that there's something wrong in their life. If it wasn't for Billy and Doug, I would probably either be in prison or dead. Well, the emergency department consistent care program is a program that identifies frequent flyers through the emergency department and uh, flags them, identifies them. The questions that arise are, you know, why are people using the emergency department as, you know, uh, primary care? Why are they trying to get medications there that their primary care physicians wouldn't necessarily want them to have? So the questions are unanswerable if you don't walk, you know, sort of walk with those clients. There are four primary members of the team, and that's the physician coordinator, who right now is Dr. Tim Zola. Uh, the RN care coordinator is Jody Halsey. Uh, the health resources coordinator from Choice, Doug Burke, and then myself, the administrative coordinator. The EDCCP program is designed to do several things. It's designed to you know, create uh, better care for individuals that maybe have never had good quality health care, uh, and to create a pathway to uh, appropriate care, you know, primary care physician and so forth. Um, and it's designed to help integrate the, the safety net uh, in the area and you know, protect the hospital from you know, outrageous expenses. My role is to basically provide medical interpretation for what's going on with patients um, and then to help the team come up with a care plan for a patient. My favorite thing is being part of this team is being able to bring in people that um, are useful for meeting patients' needs. We have a um, chemical dependency professional who does um, involuntary treatment uh, interventions with families, with um, high-risk people. I've been here you know, with the program since its inception. We started taking and rolling patients into the program in December of 2003 basically since the beginning of 2004. And since that time, we've enrolled 437 individuals into the program. Essentially what I do is, is I work with them, I talk to them, I gain their trust. We, we develop a relationship that, that uh, is based on uh, me being possibly one of the first healthcare professionals that sits down and says, tell me your story. Pain so excruciating that uh, I don't have a word for it. It is through the ER here and Doug that this man finally got the care that he needed as a human being. He can believe in you, he can trust in you. The program is awesome and it does work. And when people decide to care about themselves, they make changes that are just there, it's almost magical. Yeah, I think I got a few light years left in me.